What is up guys, Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another FWTR video. We have floor 117 going on. Alright, this floor you need a lot of movement sets and I mean a lot. You actually need ghost step, you need shoo shoo to increase movement, you need, you need everything you can get. Alright, so we have Persona to swap the boss out. So this is what we're gonna do. Shoo shoo increase everyone's movement. Alright, this gives our Persona plus 14 movement. So Persona is getting movement from his passive, uh, plus 2. His uh, Shushu is giving him another 2 movement just now. And we have Ghost Step, and we have Slot 2 with plus 1 movement, and we have Deimos's Heroes Mark, which increase attack. So let me, all right, let me focus for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You, my friend, need to go away. Stung. All right, move Deimos here. I know it's a bit confusing, but stay with me. Deimos and Persona will need Ghost Step, and if you have difficulty, you will need Hero's Mark for Deimos, and you should be fine. You can move Jin here. Align with Persona. Do not move Jin here, or else this guy will push you back. So you want Jin to be either here, yeah here is fine. So you want Jin to be here, here. Use first skill, so that Jin will get a plus 2 movement from the first skill. So Nox, if we place our Nox here, we are going to get pushed back. So instead, we want to place Nox right here! Easy, man! Alright. <sighs> you guys don't know, I've been struggling in this stage for the last 26 hours. It's frustrating. It can, it can turn you, man. I'm becoming crazy. This Tower of Thorns stress, man. It's real. It's a real thing. And the animation takes so long for this stage. Uh, you feel like killing yourself every time you watch all of this. Like trying to complete this stage actually takes 40 minutes. 30 to 40 minutes. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, I'm not sure. But around there. Phew. Come on. Why is the animation take so long? Clear it already. Right, so far so good. Next, you want to use Shu Shu and increase Jin's movement again. And this way, uh, let's see. And then move Persona here and swap this guy out. So basically you want the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the 6th and the 7th row to be empty. Alright, you see this is the this is the 6th, this is the 7th row, alright? Stop it Deimos, I'm just showing, don't move. Alright, don't need to move your Deimos. So 6th and 7th row, make sure it's empty. And let's try to follow what I'm doing. Move Jin here, use 3rd skill, wrecked. Move Nox here. Use first skill. Can we reach this guy? Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whatever, man. Whatever. Alright, my Shushu has unprecedented to help to build Lot Gauge. Uh, not sure if you really need that. But yeah, in case you guys are wondering. Dodge. Dodge even more. Counter. Why you gotta counter, man? Stop making the animation longer. Look at this animation. It's taking 4 hours. Look at this. Counter Nox. Alright, you need Outer Space or Nox. Uh, you don't really need Iron Fist, but if you want, you can give Outer Space and Iron Fist. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. 
Ah, nice animation, man. Everyone is attacking everyone. Cool. Cool, wait for everyone. Every single thing to end. Nice counter, Deimos. That was a nice one. Little wound, little wound. Alright. I'm gonna move Shushu here. Hide at the corner. Use first skill. Persona is gonna do this. And then we have Grace. And then you use Grace for skill. Bash the boss. Continuously bash the boss. If your Jin has max is max level awakened, then awesome. If not, then I don't know. My Jin is level two. She is awakened, but she is level two. Uh, I find that it's difficult to achieve 100% crit rate with decent defense, 65% at least for Grace effect to be off if she is not awakened. Uh, it was quite difficult but as usual I'll show my equipments at the end of the video and I'll just put some music while you guys are watching this awesome animation enjoy
this is it guys let's see if we can kill the boss boom easy man easy what did I say about this floor all right time to show the equipments all right so some of you might not have certain of the some of the movement sets that I use but most of you should you should have most of the things here so shushu nothing special here except for unprecedented all right so you sort of need her soul gear I think this was this one so the runes I have on her all right persona you need ghost step on persona you need swamp walk and you need a plus one movement additional on slot two and basically that's it uh yeah nothing else persona is not awakened so no runes on him all right so deimos you need swamp walk you need full set of ghost step i have this uh, bruce lee set to increase additional dodge on the beginning of the turn and one more slot one uh plus one movement on slot two and you are going to need this thing right here all right so this is the deimos uh heroes mark so you're gonna need to use a scroll on that to actually get it to work because that thing actually gives uh if two or more attack type heroes are in the party all right so we have nox and Jin. remember so, all right increase all allies movement by one for the first turn and two for demos so basically this allows us to do what we just did all right equipments on Jin plus one movement uh swamp walk stuff stuff like that these are the runes i have on her and nox you just need outer space and as much counter damage as you can stack on him runes all right guys hope you enjoyed the video um there are a couple of strats of this floor which you can use i think i saw on youtube someone was using warrior and yeah it's kind of hard if you don't have unassailable unassailable and you don't need immortal i think but yeah so this is the sort of the no unassailable strat hopefully if you have two pieces of ghost tap give one to deimos and give one to persona and you should be fine all right guys hope to see you guys in the next one and as always thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye